In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build high converting, really powerful top funnel advertorials for your e-com brand. So real quick, what advertorials are, it's a mix of an educational article where you're highlighting a particular problem or a pain point of your target audience and then presenting your product as that solution, right? So in this video, I'm gonna quickly run through the framework of an advertorial and then some examples as you can see here i'm going to try to go through three or four examples but real quick i want to quickly run through the framework of an effective advertorial and it's going to consist of eight typical sections and the specific order or the length or maybe all these sections aren't going to be necessary maybe there's another section but these are just the classic sections that every great advertorial has. So it starts out with the hook, and this is just a way to bring in and generate interest really quickly. So it highlights a problem, a pain point, or a desired solution or result that your ideal customer is looking for. So an example is struggling with problem. Here's the fix everyone's talking about. So you're highlighting a specific pain point of your audience and then delivering or at least trying to hook them in to a potential solution. So by the time they read it, they'll receive that solution that you're presenting. After the hook, you'll have a quick introduction, which is just a way to kind of pry into the uh, pain point or just to introduce it, right? So we, we typically use like a relatable story or a fact or just a statement that kind of brings the, 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 idea or what you're trying to communicate to life. So this sometimes could be like a summary of the entire advertorial. But the section after that is gonna be the pain point section. This is again to agitate and kind of create the problem in detail, right? So we want to make the problem seem bigger or more threatening than it, than it really is. And maybe it really is an important problem Right, but we want to agitate enough where they are almost thirsting for that solution. Then after that, we can introduce subtly introduce your product as solution, and then we can explain how it works in the following section, whether that be a unique mechanism, or a specific process, or maybe even a, a unique feature. Right. Then after that, we can talk about the specific benefits and how that can relate and then apply to the life, the lifestyle of your audience. So we address the audience pain points and desires and present the benefits of your product as that solution to make their life better. And after that, we have social proof to prove, to, to have some um, testimonials, visuals, stats to reinforce that trust and to essentially just to say, hey, this is what we're claiming you can do, and here's proof of that. Then after that, we want to create urgency and encourage the, peop the, the, the reader, the audience, to click on the call to action to get to the secondary page, which is typically like a product page or like an offer page. So this is a quick breakdown of that hook, grab attention, intro, introduce the pain point, and tease the desired outcome. We got the pain point. Introduce the solution, how it works, benefits, proof, call to action. All right. Let's go over a few examples. So why folks with neuropathy are ditching medications for the safe and affordable pain relief device? This is targeting people who have problems with their I don't even know what neuropathy is. I think it has something to do with like your nervous system, perhaps, perhaps the, like the nerve endings in your feet, right? But the point is this audience group knows what it is and that's what's most important because they they're have a actual problem of this being a painful experience that people deal with, right? Something to do with their feet. They're, they are taking medications, but people don't want to be medications, of course. But this is a safe and affordable pain relief device. So this is the ideal solution or the result that they're looking for. To be off meds, no more pain, and something that's safe and affordable. 
Then we have a little introductory statement right here, right? Okay, like a story where we have introduces their life, talk about how their life kind of sucks with this. And there's no solution to this. Like it sucks, mom, there's all these problems. They're searching on the internet for all that. But then here's where we introduce the potential solution, right? That's when Dr. Jeremy Campbell, expert, he talked about something that the, like the real cause of it. And this is why your, the nerves on your feet are suffocating, dying, right? We were prying into the problem, right? It's even worse if you're diabetic when you get older, less blood in your body, the nerve endings are the, the, this damage, right? It causes the burning, the tingling, numbness. These are all the issues that they're, so this goes back to again, the pain point where we're describing the pain in detail and agitating with emotionality. That's exactly what they're doing. This gets even worse if you're a diabetic. Oh my God, if someone reading with this with diabetes, they're like, oh my God, this is horrible. Painkillers are even worse. We're even going deeper into the problem, all right? And not every epitome needs to be this long with, with the problem, but maybe in this case, because people need more of that trust building aspect where they, they really need to understand, oh shit, like this is a big issue, right? So if you feel pain tingling, that's good news, right? Because now there is a way now we introduce the solution, a breakthrough technology, right? Can fix all of this. Everything that we mentioned, there's a solution and it's a foot massager, right? It's unlike any other solution tried. Here's how it's used for the best results, right? How to use it. Here's the social proof. Does it really work? Right? Here's another one from Mike. And then we get into the call to action. Well, there's, there's more reviews, of course, but we're slowly, subtly introducing, okay, here's your life with it, right? We have the, we have the benefits, right? The specific key benefits of addressing the pain points and describing life without this problem, right? We have urgency, scarcity. And we introduce all that. We, we, we got the... And of course, this is a really long laboratorial, but you, you get the point. I'm going to quickly show you a shorter one. This is from Onnit. They sell supplements. And here's a much shorter one to get the idea across. Finally, a productivity pill that works. Right, People take a lot of supplements, hoping to improve their efficiency at work, just being, being more productive, right? Getting into the flow state while juggling multiple priorities. Get, get into your flow state. Right. This is the ideal result or solution they're looking for. They want to get into a flow state. So this audience is aware of what a flow state is. They have a lot going on. They've tried multiple different um, women products, I guess. And on it is presenting a answer to that. Right. And we have a nice a sticky call to action right there. We have some social proof here, but we go right into the intro, which is introducing what a flow state is or or how flow state is the vehicle to being more productive and performing at a higher level, All right? So we're talking about, okay, this is what needs to be done. And this is almost introducing the problem, right? We have a lot of attention spans plummeting, being people being distracted, unfocused, all of that because of phones and all this technology that we're just surrounded by, but there's an easier way, right? We're introducing them what a solution could be, which is getting to the flow state, bringing us again to the right frequency, alpha waves, all this. And maybe there's a solution to this, which is the supplement here, helps cognitive functions, memory, speed, focus, all of that. But so this is the solution, how it works, right? Here are the specific amino acids, the vitamins, herbs, compounds that allow this to actually function and get you that result that we're promising. And you'll see there's a lot of social proof and call to actions thrown in to the page to keep it focused, right? We want to build that trust and we want them to take action. Ingredients, some social proof from a, a, a person that's credible. So to this audience, they are aware of Joe Rogan, who he is and the type of brand that he has around him. And that's what's to kind of capture that trust building factors. And then we have 
call to action and a, and, and a footer, right? But it follows that same formula of a hook, intro, pain point, solution, how it works, benefits, social proof, call to action. Here's another one. Um, top lung doctors, um, pulmonologists, right? This will clean your lungs from years of smoking. This is a really, really great headline, right? If you smoked or have smoked for years, right? We want to read this article before you do anything else, right? We're creating that, that urgency, right? People who have been smoking, we want to fix that. So we introduce the, who the person is, right? Like the little story, whether that be from a credible authoritative figure, which is a doctor, introducing what his patients have experienced, right? This is the story that we talked about. Right, we use a relatable story or fact. Smoking is just uh, it destroys your lungs, right? Here's all the problems. Here's what really destroys. It's all this stuff. It's mucus. It's all it's bacteria, viruses, right? And it's not being cleaned out. Here are all the different problems. We're making it real, We're almost scaring them, and then, luckily, there's a better solution. So again, we're introducing the the after we pry and agitate that problem. Introducing blank product, right? This is where you introduce your product. This is the solution because it's the first and only product, right? This is where you want to like gas up your, 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 your product and your brand, right? This is the solution, right? We got some great reviews. This not only does this, but it does, it helps get rid of mucus and breathe freely. So this is the life that they want. So again, going back to the solution, and the benefits, right? This is what their life will be like. No more coughing, no more fatigue, no more respiratory diseases, right? And then we're introducing, how can you get your handle? This is the call to action, right? This is the offer where you're providing a value proposition. Get 50% off now. We're instilling, injecting urgency and scarcity. You need to, you need to act now, right? It's not just about you. This, so this is even prying into making it even more relevant, right? We're, we're using that emotional or that the aspect of wanting to improve your health for the people around you, right? So again, more call to action and the more social proof. All these advertorials are the same format. So again, how you structure an advertorial is through this framework that we went over. Here are some questions to ask yourself when you think about, okay, how do I create an, um, a specific angle, right? What, what's the most um, prevalent pain point that's most relatable? Does it connect with them emotionally or logically to the problem? How does your product provide that, that solution to them? And how can you position it to where it's almost new, revolutionary, or it frames in a way where from like an authoritative figure, right? Does the article educate and build trust while creating curiosity, right? And here are some, some tips for writing advertorials. We want to read reviews, forum, but that to understand pain points and concerns. And then create an, an L based on that with the hook. And actually the problem, introduce solution, and validate it, right? That is essentially what we're doing here. So I hope this helps. This is a really great way to build advertorials and just really start pitching and selling to cold audiences, to cold traffic, right? Because everyone can sell to people who already know their product and their brand, but it's much harder. And you'll have a much bigger TAM, which is a total addressable market. where you are able to pretty much compete with no one because you won't have any competitors in a cold market. It's only for the people that already know a particular solution. So you're fighting over the crumbs. But with advertorials, you can really, really take a huge piece of the pie when you're able to craft great messaging and offers to a cold audience. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and th again, this will allow you to spend more on ads, increase your ROAS and all that. So hope this helped. I hope we found this valuable. Please like this video, comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more great videos like this. I appreciate it and see you in the next one. Peace.